What I like to think of um, in a clinic is uh, looking at patient experience, okay? And let's start very simply. Uh, let's use the model that patient engagement has to turn into patient commitment to their treatment plan and then patient commitment to a treatment plan is gonna end up in better outcomes. Patient experience is a word that's used quite a bit now in our industry. Um, what I consider patient experience is kind of like energy and physics. So it comes in different forms. And patient experience is no different. Let's take your marketing. If you're doing digital marketing or, or your classical marketing like community outreach, you're building an experience online for someone to engage with. So someone might see your material, it might resonate with them, and then they're gonna take that extra step. They're engaged now and they're gonna call you. So what you wanna do in marketing, just measure the experience in your marketing. So that might be how many phone calls did your mar marketing sources generate? That could be a metric for judging or gauging patient experience online. When someone does call you or contact you, is your front desk answering the phone? They should be answering at above 90, 95% consistently and being able to book eight in every 10 new patients that call. But even those two metrics, answer rate and booking rate, they're a measure of a patient experience on the phone. If you do that right, and the patient books with you, uh, the next thing that happens is, is the assessment. So how do you measure patient experience at assessment? And this is where I spend a lot of my time with therapists, is not on the clinical aspect of doing the assessment, but more how to build patient rapport at assessment. The therapist has to come across as confident as the expert, as a support system, but also has to be personable and has to build that rapport in 50, 60 minutes with somebody so they want to move into and commit to their treatment plan. And again, that's a patient experience um, area of the business that we should be measuring. So you may measure it by how many sessions did the therapist prescribe and how many did the patient book before they left that day. Now you have the patient moving into their actual treatment plan over several weeks. Again, you want that person to commit um, to those several weeks, so you have to measure it. You have to measure patient experience during that time. For that, you might measure what's called patient visit average. What is the number of times somebody comes in for their sessions? So let's say that goes well and you measure patient experience through the care plan leading up to discharge. What happens when people are discharged from their treatment plan? And I work with owners to let them know that you may discharge someone from their treatment plan, but you don't discharge them from your business or your brand. Of course, after they've completed their course of care, you wanna to speak to them about maybe their lifestyle or prehab so the injury doesn't occur again. And again, how do you measure patient experience at discharge? You'll just look, how many discharges did we do this week? And how many people moved into a, one of those lifestyle options? Say one out of 10 moved into a lifestyle option. Well, knowing that metric, you can then move the needle on it by working with your therapist, um, role-playing, providing them support, and uh, maybe from one to 10 people taking advantage of a lifestyle option, you can get that to three. After discharge, you'll kind of see that people who complete their course of care, they're more likely to refer to you. Again, people who are committed and complete their course of care get better outcomes, which is ultimately what we're trying to do. And someone with better outcomes is more likely to tell their doctor. They're more likely to give you a Google review. They're more likely to tell a friend or a family member. And then in this day and age, uh, when you tell somebody, the first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna pick up their phone and they're gonna check you out online and the whole process is gonna start again. So when you think of op clinic operations in that way, I truly believe there's about five to six key areas of your business that if you optimize, will run 90% of the business.